and today I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how we can install Fired OS on any computer and have Android and the Google Play Store activated so that we can take advantage especially of older computers that we want to give to a kid for homework and entertainment like some games Netflix and so on so forth and I did a video previously link will be down below just checking out a few of the features that we can have with such a computer with Fired OS so if you want to take a look before following this guide feel free link down below now before we move on if you are using your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated you can't even change the icons of your computer don't forget to check out keys fan where you can find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below and i don't even need to leave links for this guide because we will check everything here on screen and it's easy as this first of all we will need fide os which is one of the best operating systems that i've used so far using android and the google play store which one button will activate itself now besides that we will need the balena etcher we can use other tools but today we are going to use balena etcher to create our usb pen drive to install so first of all let's go to balena etcher website just press download etcher and we can select the version that we want now i just uh, downloaded to my computer the portable version so we don't need to install anything which is just great and then we will need to go to fide os website you can read everything that is right over here and then go to the downloads right over here and we'll have options for almost every computer available on the market now if you are going to use on your computer like i did on the previous video and also in this video you will have several options right over here so if your cpu is from the third to seventh generation intel cpu you will have these options if it's later from 8th to 12th these options right over here or if it has the amd radiant discrete graphics card then you can use this option now my computer is 12th generation this one that i'm using today but i did install already in an older laptop i did it on the last video link down below and if you are not sure which cpu you have just minimize this let's go to the desktop and right over here on my pc i'm going to properties and i'm going to see that it says 12th generation intel cpu so this is the computer that i'm using today for this video and i will need to download this one right over here which is the 12th generation easy as this if you want to try out on a virtual machine you can do so just download the image for vmware or if you have any other device like a microsoft surface or a raspberry pi 5 or raspberry pi 5 which is awesome some google devices actually only one a chromebook pine 64 and even some devices and of life so i believe that 90 percent 95 percent of the computers will fit in right over here now i did download this one right over here i've got it on my desktop and let me minimize this i've got balena etcher and fide os so let's press balena etcher which one of the disadvantages that i see on a portable version it's only one it takes a bit longer to start the app comparing with the one that we installed but here we have it on the screen now we will need to select only two things the operating system that we are going to install which is fide os i've got it right over here so just going to drag it here there we go and then i need to select my usb pen drive which is not on the computer still on my hand so let's put it on the computer right now and as soon as i put it it shows right over there just going to select and select one and i just need to press start and there we go this is as i was saying a process that will take about five minutes more or less depending on the usb flash drive that we have and the speed that it accepts so i will be back in about four minutes or so and there we go just finished creating the usb pen drive now we have several options let me show you my computer right over here in my particular case i do have two ssd so i'm going to install on one of them and i'm going to leave windows as it is but if you only have one um, ssd or hard drive and you want to replace your windows because it's an older machine then you just need to install on that drive or if you want to keep windows you can for example in my particular case i have about 420 gigabytes free on this computer so i could create a 
partition. Now, I'm not going to do that on this video, but you can create a partition, then install FidoS on one partition. You will have Windows and FidoS on the same hard drive. Now, if you are like myself and you have another extra SSD, so we have several options right over here. And we also have the option to try out from the USB drive that we just created without installing on our computer. That being said, let's restart our system so that we can start the installation. Now I just need to go right over here and restart. And when my computer restarts, I will be pressing delete so that we can go to the BIOS. And on your computer, it might be delete or it might be F2. These are the most common keys, but if none of them work, just check out which one it is. Now I'm on my BIOS right over here and they will be more or less the same. You will have these menus, even if they look a bit different depending on the motherboard that we have. And in my particular case, we can change the boot order right over here. But at this moment, what I want is just to boot override. So I want to select the USB pen drive to boot up, but I'm going to leave the Windows boot manager as default at this moment. And then later on, we will change that to boot up with options for FIDOS or Windows. So let's go to the USB, just press it, then we will see the FIDOS logo and right next this welcome screen right over here. So at this moment we can select the language, I'm going to leave English as is, press OK and we'll have the welcome to FIDOS version 17 which is just awesome. Next and right now we can select if I want to try it from the USB pen drive which will not install anything on my computer so we can just run off the USB pen drive and if you are going to do that the only advice that I would give is make sure that your USB pen drive has a great speed so that you have a nice experience and by great speed I would say about 100 megabytes per second reads and writes will be more or less enough to experience a good experience less than that not so good so right over here we are going to install FIDOS so just press next and right here I'm going to install it on a full disk but as I have Windows on another disk I'm going to select multi boot installation so that I have a boot screen where I can select Windows or FIDOS so if you are on the same situation if you have split your main disk and you have created another partition, you will also choose this option so that you have Windows and FIDOS. Now just press next and right over here I'm going to select the uh, target position which in this particular case will be this drive. If you are using a different partition just select the partition that you have created and then we will need to select the EFI and in this case it's this one right over here and Right now, I'm going to install and configure uh, for me, which is the recommended, so it will do everything automatically, and I can press install. Now, this will be in two steps. One is very quick, which is this one, and then we will do the other one, which is quick as well. So the first installation screen is completed and right now what it's asking me is to completely power off the device and then remove the USB pen drive. So we are going to press on shutdown. It's going to, which already did, completely remove my computer. I'm going to remove the USB pen drive and right now I'm going to press the button to start the computer. Now one thing that I'm going to do right now is press delete because I want to go to the BIOS once again. Now we are on the BIOS and the thing that I want to do is because I've got two hard drives or two SSDs, I want to boot from the SSD which has FIDOS instead of the SSD that has Windows. If you only have one SSD, you can skip this step because you don't need. So let's go to the boot menu and right over here where it says Windows Boot Manager, I want to put the option number two, which is the refined boot manager. So what I'm going to do right now is just press the button, not this one. There we go. We have boot option one refined, which is the FIDE OS boot manager. So right now I'm going to press save changes and exit and yes. So the computer just restarted. And at this moment, what we have right over here 
is a boot menu and this was the reason that we installed the multi boot and at this moment i did select on my bios so it will always start on this fido s disk and if i want to go to windows i just need to press enter right over here and if i want to go to fido s i just need to press enter right over here which is what we are going to do so just press enter and we will have this option right over here which if we want to change we will need to be quick and if we leave it alone it will do the normal installation and after the installation just a normal boot okay and we are on this screen again and yes it does twice this but it's very quick now so just to select the language okay my keyboard will be fine welcome we have seen this one but we haven't seen this one right over here because we are starting the installation which is really really quick as you will be able to see so just accept accept now we can select between using a fido s account or a google account in my particular case i'm going to use my google account because i think that it's easier but you can test out now i can press next it's for me it's not for a children but if you want for a children with parental controls and so on and so forth you might want to choose this option let's select this one here and now i just need to put my gmail account right over here and once we put in our google account credentials there we go it's ready so right now i can select a light team dark team or auto but let's select the dark team which i believe that it's the coolest one and get started now one of the things that i would suggest to do right now before we do anything else is we will see right over here the activate the android subsystem so what i would suggest is to click it so that we can activate now i just need to do this agree press launch it will take a few seconds and there we go we are inside the android as we can see right over here and well we are not going to do anything here now one of the things that i want to change is if i go to the settings which i can find right over here because i'm using 4k display and i want to change because everything is so small i was using on my laptop before on the last video and uh, let's increase to 160 maybe so you can see a little bit better probably it's better for you and it's also better for me now we can see the settings right over here we have uh, i'm connected via ethernet but we can connect via wi-fi bluetooth and we can use this menu right over here to browse around and for example to change display settings keyboard audio and so on so you have a lot to explore and you will do that on your own but let's activate the google play store which is really cool now uh, before we do this is the files shortcut and this is the google shortcut but if i go right over here we have these options just press ok right over here and we can go to the android as we have seen but what we want to do is go to the store at this moment and on the store we'll have several options we can install essentials web apps and so on and so forth extensions which is really cool in a really easy way but first of all what we want is the google play store so let's press on configure open gaps and right over here we just need to add and it will ask me to add yes okay and bam there we go now open app and then let's agree next let's leave it as installed press next and install now okay and it will do a really quick installation and once it finishes it just asks to reboot so what we are going to do is reboot now it will go automatically to the boot menu and at this moment if i don't press any key let's just check if it runs alone because i haven't tried that or if i really need to press i believe that i need to press so i'm going to select hide and yes and now we just need to do our google account login and there we go we are inside fido s the installation is complete and best of all let's go here it still haven't appeared but let's just wait for a couple of seconds and we will have the google play store in a matter of a few seconds so there we go play store appeared it was just a couple of seconds more so if i press now google play store we have it right over here let's sign in okay there we go after we put in our credentials there we go we have the play store 
ready to start and installing apps. For example, YouTube, which is cool. And I can install also VLC, for example. We can install apps like Prime Video, let's install and I don't know, a lot of apps. Steam, for example, we can do so. Uh, Netflix, which I did test out on the last video and it worked great. So if you want to do that, and if you want to install some games for kids, if we want to install, for example, Docs, so that we can use the computer as a platform that we can do homeworks and so on and so forth. Besides that, also play some games, which is something very useful for a children on a lightweight operating system. Just a great experience. So at this moment, it's installing a lot of apps that I did request and the apps, once they get installed, they will go to this launcher right over here. So we will see uh, YouTube is already installed. VLC is already installed. Netflix is right over here. Prime Video, which we just installed right now. Let's just wait for the docs that we requested to install. There we go. Docs is right over here. So if I wanted to do some homework, for example, I could uh, keep on working on these three. Or if I want to create a new from template, I really enjoy this one right over here. But let's that's this one here. And there we go. I could start doing any kind of homework or whatever I want on a machine. As you can see, it's very lightweight and great. By the way, talking about great on the right side, we have these options, which are basically shortcuts to uh, shut down, restart and so on and so forth. We also have the option for settings, which we have seen before. Or I really, really dig the way that they have FidoS design right over here. But this is something that you will test for yourself right now. You have the full guide in just a matter of a few minutes, much less than I did to explain this full guide. And hopefully it was helpful so that you can install on any of your computers at home. Home. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.